we're going to create an automatic help desk ticketing closing system here. It's going to be very quick because we're going to create a Google form. We're going to create a closed picker. This is going to be an automatic thing we do through AppScript. And then when we close our tickets, we're going to add a timestamp so that we have a timestamp from the form when we get the tickets, when they open, and a timestamp when they close. That means we can create a dashboard that shows both how many open tickets are there plus what is the average time to close so we can monitor this kind of number. So let's go to Tools, create a new form, and just get a very simple ticket. So fill in this help and we'll help you. You may have some other things you want to ask here, but we're just going to ask a basic short answer or even paragraph of what's the issue. You probably have some other things here, but let's publish this. Make sure it's published to anyone, done, and we can fill this out as well. And so we have our form responses. We're going to call this tickets. So that's going to be the name of the sheet, and we'll add a few here. Some issue, submit. Now let's look at that. We have this. We'll actually change this to unformatted data. We're going to add a column here of closed and closed time. How do we add this here? Actually, drop down menu. Well, let's go up to extensions, AppScript. We're going to need to do two things. We're going to need to write a function, and then we're going to need to trigger that function when the form is submitted. So we'll write a function called set closed drop down. We'll have an event here. We can shorten this to just E, so we don't have to type the word event all the time. We get some very interesting information from this. We get the row that we're on, e.range dot get row. We have the sheet that we're on, e dot range dot get sheet. And we're going to end up having to set sheet dot get range, the row, but the column will be C, so three. And we need to set data validation rule and a rule here. Well, what's going to be our rule? We need two things. We need a rule and we need a drop down items. So spreadsheet app dot new data validation require value in range and our range we're going to go get that actually over here we're going to create a new sheet called settings close status. So in case you want to add more things here so maybe closed open or in progress that kind of thing. We'll have these options here. So let's go get those. Drop down status range equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name. Our name is going to be settings dot get range is going to be a two colon a. So anything in that a column, but not the header. And we're going to require value in range, drop down status range, and we want it to be true. That it needs to be a one of those options. And we'll need to build this. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're setting this close drop down anytime we're on a row, that row gets created when a form is submitted. So let's go create the trigger. Again, our two steps are we create the function and then second we create the trigger. Let's go over to triggers on the left and then on the bottom right add trigger. Choose which function to run. We'll use set close drop down. We'll have from spreadsheet and the select event type is on form submit. We'll click save. And now let's go submit another response. One more. Oh, we do need to authorize before we actually get this triggered. Let's click allow and there this trigger should show up there and so if we get any errors we'll see the error rate here so let's add one more issue let's click submit we'll go back to our tickets and here one more issue we have a drop down menu here now we can click closed so our next automation is going to be if we click closed in the c column on tickets put in timestamp in d so that we can compare these two timestamps a and d so let's go back to our script and add another function, function on edit. This time, 
we're using a built-in function, not an installable one. This is a very simple trigger. This trigger will happen. We don't need to create the trigger ourselves. It'll be here automatically. We need a few things. Variable, we need to know what row we're on. E.range.getRow. We need to know what column we're on. We need to know what sheet we're on. And we can then say if sheet is equal to, we need two equal signs. I think is tickets in all caps. Ampersand. Let's move this up a little bit so you can see it. Now, ampers, double ampersand means and. Column equals three. We're in this C column. And we also need to know the value, variable value equals e dot value two equal signs and value is equal to all caps closed then what are we going to do we're going to go to spreadsheet dot app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name tickets dot get range row same row we're on and in the fourth column set value new date this sets a time. this new date and this will run when there's an edit so let's check that that's correct and if there's an error we'll see over here in executions this is completed let's double check all this uh, logger dot log row maybe this sheet is not correct what else do we need huh? value let's log those and that should trigger it as well. Let's go back to our executions and see what log shows up. Oh, it's just sheet. So I think we need to sheet dot. Now let's try it. So we'll go here, we'll submit another response. Even more issues. Submit, we have our drop down menu and we want to close it. And we have a timestamp, perfect. So now we can tell what is the close time? So in our time to close, in our sheet here, time to close, I'm gonna write a function if to equals closed, then we're gonna take the close time and minus the, the original timestamp to get the difference. And if not, we'll just have it blank. So let's format this to duration, I think. There we go. So this is three minutes, seven minutes. This is five seconds. <laughs> there you go. We can change these to something like this. And we can also change this format here. But let's add this value when we set closed dropdown. Sheet.getRange, row, and column five set value our value is going to be this formula but we want to make sure that the twos here or whatever row are on so we're going to actually change these to to back ticks so create a back tick here and a back tick here and instead of two we'll use a little bit of interpolation dollar sign and curly brackets row this means every time we enter the number, it'll be whatever the row is from our variable up here. So now when we create a new help ticket, help me please submit, we have our formula already there. So we can hit closed, get a timestamp and a duration here. Again, this format of this duration can probably be fixed to some extent. So I think it's probably best to just wrap this with text and have hours, minutes, and seconds, but also perhaps maybe even days here if you have more than, need more than hours. So let's add this text to our function here, text, and I think we only need one comma there. There we go. So now let's add a few more submit tickets. Ticket one, submit, ticket two, submit, Go back and see we have ah, zeros until we have close, but this will be fine. We have some open tickets. Now we need to create a dashboard. 
we're just going to go through, we're not going to make this very easy. We're just going to go through some very simple formulas. Open tickets. We'll say total open tickets here. Average time to close. Okay. So here we need to figure out how many tickets are there that are not closed. So we can do count if, and our criterion is that it's not closed. We can also do count filter. I think we just actually want to say equals count all. B colon B will have an issue of tickets. And then we'll minus count if this is closed. That gets us two. Perfect. That is our answer. But now, here's our average time to close. How are we going to figure that out? Well, we can use the same filter, or we can create a filter. We're going to filter our time to close. And our condition is that this is equal to closed. Let's take out the very first header row, so E2 and C2. And then we're going to average all of those. And there's our average. Let's see if that is correct, because it's 177. Let's bring this back to reality. There, 349 dashboard. And here's our average time to close. Perfect. So we've created a little bit of dashboard to get our information. We've created our ticketing system here, where we have an issue. We can add any number of columns here that we want to get information from the Google form. We have a timestamp when it's submitted. We have a closed drop-down menu that's added. And our close time is automatically added when we click closed. Our dashboard shows total open tickets and average time to close. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.